Ladies and gentlemen, formed on 1st July 2002, the National Environment Agency, or NEA as we all know, is the leading public organization responsible for ensuring a clean and green environment and the sustainable development of Singapore. Its key roles are to protect Singapore's resources from pollution, maintain a high level of public health, and provide timely meteorological information. I'm JJ Simon. I've been the NEA for the last uh, beginning of the Ministry of Environment years, uh, more than uh, 40 over years, yeah? Working. <laughs> okay, Singapore, our home, is a country and a city state in Southeast Asia with a small land area of about 720 square kilometers. That's all we are. We have a dense urban setting with a population of about 5.6 million people. The main challenges that Singapore faces is the lack of natural resources. Okay, we don't have much manpower. And this is the primary concern that drives initiatives and policies in solid waste management, which we will cover shortly. If you look at the slide, the rate of waste growth is one of our major concerns for waste management. From the graph, the increasing population and the GDP growth have also increased the rate of waste growth by almost seven folds over the last 40 years. The other major concern is the scarcity of our land. At this rate of waste growth, a new waste to energy plant will have to be built every seven to 10 years. A new offshore landfill will have to be identified every 30 to 35 years. We have no more space on our mainland, so it has to go offshore. But Singapore is a small country and land is scarce. Every plot of land needs to be carefully allocated. As you can see from the total waste generated per day, we are doing much to recycle and recover energy from the incineration processes. Approximately 21,000 tons of waste is generated per day. And of it, 59% of it is recycled, and 3% of which is non-incinerable is sent to the landfill. And 38%, which is incinerable waste, is sent to our waste to energy plants. Anyway, we have four uh, waste to energy plants currently operating. 2019 has been designated as the year towards zero waste. We have three, dri three key driving forces, namely, towards a sustainable Singapore, tackling climate change, and overcoming resource constraints. These driving forces help shape our initiatives, which covers sustainable consumption. We are embarking on many fronts to reduce waste sent to our insertion plants and landfill, namely paper, metal, plastics, wood, and horticultural waste. Uh, this is done by way of segregation early. We are now moving into food waste recycling, working with the other agencies to promote food waste reduction or avoidance. Make it a habit. This is what we keep uh, emphasizing. Every Singaporean should make it a habit to buy only what you need or what you need to consume. A philosophy all Singaporeans should adopt to make this truly happen.
Okay, working with the public is very, very important for us uh, as an NEA uh, in meeting its objectives. We can't do it alone. We need you as the citizens and also the public to join hands and join forces with us in our programs. In April this year, the Pan IMN Alumni Association approached NEA with a proposal for partnering with them for the impact case study contest on solid management. The idea of the contest came from the case method of instruction at the IMMs, and the objective was to create a platform for ongoing engagement and action, especially involving the youth. Most importantly, the proposal included a commitment to work on follow-up actions related to the implementation of the case study recommendations as and where possible. More than 50 teams and almost 100 participants sent in their responses, and we were impressed with the quality of the recommendations we saw around behavior change, process level improvements, and policy changes. After a difficult evaluation process, we came out with the winners. Okay, and I'm going to announce the winners now. Uh, the formal awards will be given during the gala dinner tonight. The third prize goes to Akansha Joshi of DPS International. And the second prize goes to Faith Leong and Carrie Swong of Nanyang Girls High School. And before I announce the first prize winner, I would like to announce something here, that all of the participants will be invited to our Clean and Green Singapore 2019 to begin their journey as part of the environmental stewardship. Okay, now for the first prize winner, Gabriel Lee from Dunman High School. I now invite Gabriel Lee to share with us his perspective on the problem of solid waste management and some of the solutions he has recommended. I thank you. Good afternoon, distinguished guests. I am Gabriel Lee from Dunman High School. It is my honor today to be giving a speech as the first place winner of the case study contest organized by IMPACT this year on solid waste management in Singapore. Before I proceed further, let me ask all of you a simple question. What image first comes to your mind upon hearing the two words, Samarkau Landfill? For the benefit of those who may not be familiar with Singapore, Samarkau Landfill is Singapore's offshore landfill. To most, I'm sure the mental image may not exactly be a pleasant one. Imagine overflowing rubbish, a never-ending growing mountain of waste, and the putrid stench of decomposing garbage wafting into your nostrils. But what if I told you that Samarkau Landfill is actually a scenic place, overflowing with not rubbish, but instead rich biodiversity? Indeed, I myself was taken aback when I visited Samarkau Landfill together with my school last year. And it was only then when I realized that Singapore has actually put in place a comprehensive waste management system where 90% of all waste volume is incinerated into ash before being sent to, be Samar before being sent to Samarkau landfill to be buried. This sparked my interest to participate in the case study contest organized by IMPACT as I wanted to learn more about how solid waste is being managed in Singapore. Interestingly enough, I found out that despite Singapore's world-class waste management system, Samarkau landfill is set to run out by 2035. This occurs not only because households are not recycling enough, but also because households lack awareness of what items can and cannot be recycled. Speaking of recycling, the poor design as well as the location of the blue commingled bins you see on the screen right now also hinder recycling by making it inconvenient for households to recycle. 
Imagine if you have to travel 12 stories every day just to throw a bag of recyclables away. Not to mention, the current method of waste collection in Singapore is very cost ineffective and inefficient as it relies heavily on manpower, which is, which is our waste collectors here, to collect waste from individual housing blocks rubbish chutes before transporting them away using garbage trucks. I therefore propose the following solutions to tackle the aforementioned problems. Firstly, through the use of public education, as well as behavioural nudging, to nudge households into doing the right thing and to make them aware of what items can and cannot be recycled. Secondly, to expand the adoption of recycling chutes from the current private condominiums currently to public housing as well, which should heighten the recycling rate by making it more convenient for households to recycle. Last but not least, to tackle the problem of the cost inefficiency of the current waste collection system, I propose a pneumatic waste conveyance system that makes use of underground vacuum pipes to automatically transport waste to a centralised bin centre before being, before being transported away by garbage trucks. This heightens productivity as well as reduces the need for manpower. All these are top-down measures. What then can we as youth do to ensure that Singapore sustainable to ensure that Singapore implements a sustainable waste management system? My answer is actually very simple. Simply by gaining a better understanding and appreciation of Singapore's waste management system, can we then can we then take proactive steps to improve our consumption habits to reduce the ecological stress placed on Singapore's waste management system? My generation has had the privilege of benefiting from the ingenious waste management methods implemented by our forefathers. Let us continue their good work in the years to come so that our future generations can benefit as well. Thank you for your kind attention.